I'm here with one half of Social Code. Gentlemen, how you holding up? Good, man. Great. Good. Okay, great to have you guys here. Now, this record um, is basically success that's built out of diversity. That's what it's about, right? Yeah. And I was wondering, what's the social code that governs this band? You know what? Just ultimate positivity. You know, yeah. there, we had so many reasons to be negative from the last, you know, even few years getting dropped twice in the, you know, in the States and all that stuff. But it's like, the thing that's really pushed this band through is just staying positive and just keep getting the work done. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's, that's almost what, what a majority of the record is written about. It's just, you know, if, if there's some kind of a negative thing going on in your life, it's like there's always kind of a hopeful side. There's always a way out of that, you know. You just got to focus on the good and don't focus on the bad. Where does that sort of optimism come from, though? Life? Yeah. Learning. Learning that, like, you can't let things get you down. Like, why stop? Why make excuses? There is no excuse for anything. You just got to keep doing it. The weird thing is, it's ironic you guys say that because lately there's been a lot of bands who are kind of going in that direction. You know what I mean? If you look at a band like Good Charlotte, whom you guys have toured with, yeah, yeah totally. You look at how they flipped and kind of changed, and I was wondering why do you think more bands are going in that positive direction? Don't you know? Is there's a lot of music out right now that's almost dwelling in the negative. You know what I mean? It seems like there's a lot of imagery that's about guns and blood and all this stuff, and it's cool, and I like a lot of that music too, right? But it's it's just not what we want to write about. It's not the kind of people we are. I, you know, I, I don't I don't care about guns. I don't care about bleeding. I care about writing a good song and, and, and making somebody feel really good. And you know, on the last record, we had a lot of people commenting that they had personal crisis, they had issues that they were going through, they had suicide, dealing with all that stuff. And and they were inspired not, you know, to kind of get sucked into that darkness because of a song that we wrote. So it's, it's a pretty powerful thing, man. Yeah, I guess we're so inundated right now with negativity that you kind of want to see light at the end of the tunnel, right? Right. And it's like the same thing. You, like, n not, to, not to be blind to the negative, but... To say, okay, that yeah, that exists, but let's get out of that and let's just try to focus on something better, you know? Okay. And it's and I bring this up in, in a way, I guess, positive stuff, because there's a lot of things going on in the world right now, and you guys are headlining the Two Festival, right? Exactly, and, yeah. And which is great, and I guess it's about uni and bringing cultural awareness. Yeah, totally. And environmental awareness, it's, too. Yeah, okay. it's a big environmental thing. It's going to be 16 dates all across Canada, and we're doing four dates in China. And, and it's really about being, bringing two cultures together to, to start... That, that unity, you know what I mean? About about something is is something that affects everybody. You know, this this planet is slowly deteriorating. Yeah. You know, and we ought to all make some changes. I know you guys are doing the flick off thing here, which is awesome. So it's you know that's just something that that you know kind of came to us that we're just like we jumped on. Yes, absolutely, want to be a part of that. And I think that's amazing. You guys are part of that. And I'm a big I'm a big advocate of, of, of being friendly to the environment and whatnot. But I'm gonna play devil's advocate for a second here because it comes at a time when. When um, Roger Daltrey from The Who, obviously, I just made those comments about, about Live Earth and saying that the last thing the planet needs is another rock concert and he's saying all these things. I was wondering, for you guys, do you think that these sorts of initiatives, so to speak, bring, bring light to the environment? Do you think they're a good thing? Absolutely. Yeah. Like, it, it gets people aware, right? Like, there's nothing bigger than, like, thousands of people at a show learning about a message of, of awareness for the environment and taking care of it. How do you think you make, because I'm a big advocate and I try with flick off and whatnot, but how do you think you actually get to people so that they'll actually apply that in their everyday actions? It's you know what I mean? Because there's so much stuff out there. It's just as simple as just seeing like, well, it's as simple as changing a light bulb yeah. in your house. You know what I mean? That's easy. You know, I go to the store and they're right beside each other in the rack. I'd, just, I'd much rather buy the one that's... That's you know way less wattage. It's just something so simple. That, no, I you know agree. What I, mean? yeah. I agree. So I guess it's, awesome. it's tough sometimes. People don't want to do it if they don't see immediacy. Like, how am I helping if I can't directly see the results right there? Right, for a human yeah. population. That, sorry, humans like to see that immediacy on pretty much every level. So yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. it's difficult. You see it gradually. You watch yeah. the inconvenient truth, and yeah. it'll show you yeah. everything <laughs> yeah, about totally. that. Like it's plain. No, I definitely agree. Okay, before we go, I gotta kind of put you on the spot here, Morgan. I apologize, but oh. I got I got a lot of emails about this, okay. and I think you know okay. what it's gonna be. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Um, dude emailed me and said he wanted to give you mad props. He said mad props exactly right here. He saw you with a certain somebody at the Billy Talent show. And he was wondering if you're in fact dating, if you're in a relationship right now. Well, Travis, what do you think? Uh, I think, yeah. <laughs> I am. You're dating in a relationship? Yeah. Okay, great. So the question has been answered. Yeah.